Hello everyone and welcome to Azam Sharp Weekly. So I'm in the process of creating a brand new course on augmented reality using Reality Kit. And for my YouTube subscribers, I wanted to give you this free video of how you can get started. So let's go ahead and begin. So when you're creating an augmented reality application using Xcode, when you select iOS and augmented reality app, it will use this template to create a very basic structure. Let's go to next. Now we can say the project name. We'll just say getting started AR. The interface type can be Swift UI or Storyboard. I'm just going to select Swift UI. Language is Swift. And for the content technology, you can use Reality Kit, Scene Kit, Sprite Kit, and Metal. Now, Reality Kit is the new framework that Apple is has created from the ground up, so from completely from scratch, and that is the recommended approach. Now, obviously, if you're building kind of like a game or something, you can benefit from Scene Kit and Sprite Kit and Metal, but for Rea uh, augmented reality ma main application, basic applications, uh, kind of like a enterprise applications, you can use Reality Kit. Even if you use Reality Kit, you can take advantage of Scene Kit, Sprite Kit, and all those things. All right. So let's go with Reality Kit over here and create our basic project. Now, when you create your project using augmented reality template and Swift UI, you can see that it has already written some code for you. And if you run this code, you will see a box. So let's go ahead and try to run this without changing anything. One thing that we need to make sure is that we are not running it on the simulator. You can see that the simulator is selected over here. When you're running augmented reality applications, it needs to be run on a real device. So I'm going to select my device. Now my device has a little bit lower version, not a big deal. I can go ahead and change that. It's not going to affect our application. You don't have to change that if your device is already running 15.4. That's perfect. Okay. So now I have changed it to iPhone or iPad, whichever device that you're running on. We haven't really changed any code or anything. We haven't really written any line of code. All of this code was already there when we created the augmented reality application using Swift UI or even using storyboards. It will be there. It will be a little bit different for storyboards, of course, but that will be the code to load. All right. So let's go ahead and run this code and see what you, what you experience. All right. Here we go. So we're running it on my real device. So it's asking me to access to the camera. I'm going to say yes. And there we go. I can actually see a box. This is not a real box. It looks pretty cool, right? This is a augmented reality virtual box with nice metallic finish. So you can see a little bit of a reflection also going on. And there you have it. When you run the app without making any change, this is what you see. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the code. Okay. Now, when you're creating the augmented reality application, and when you use the default template, it uses the something called a reality composer. A reality composer is basically a tool that can allow you to simply drag and drop and create the augmented reality experience. You can see that we are currently looking at a reality composer file, a reality file, and you can open it up in the Reality Composer. If I click on that, we will simply open this file in Reality Composer. You can see this is a Reality Composer. It's kind of like a design view. You can change stuff. You can add more stuff to it. You know, you can do other stuff to it. Okay. You can create material, eyes, blah, blah, blah. These kind of things. You can add more stuff to it and all that stuff. Great. Well, I don't really want to use the Reality Composer yet. Maybe in the future I'll show you that. What I want to do is I want to create the box and put the box on the plane from scratch. From scratch. So I'm going to remove all of those two lines. You can even remove the experience 
which is a reality file, you can remove that. We will not be using that. Nothing wrong with that. I just want to type the code myself and see that if I can recreate the similar experience. So now we have the augmented reality AR view, which is the view that is starting the camera and everything. Everything is going on inside the AR view. The first thing that we need to do is to create a plane anchor. A plane anchor is simply an anchor, kind of like a hook that you're creating whenever it finds a plane. A plane can be horizontal or vertical. A horizontal plane means that you're trying to find or put the stuff on a table or some sort of a carpet or a floor. A vertical plane can be wall. So I'm interested in finding out or creating an anchor which can host virtual objects horizontally. Kind of like trying to find a point on a table. So let anchor equals to anchor entity. And you can see that we have many different functions over here that we can call. We can even call the plane with the alignment over here. So horizontal plane or vertical plane. So I'm just going to say horizontal plane. Horizontal plane basically means that when you run your application, all of this code is going to run and it's going to find an anchor. I always like to think of anchor as a hook. A small hook that where you can attach different things. So when the app actually runs, it's going to try to find a horizontal plane. And as soon as it finds a horizontal plane, it's going to give you that anchor. So it gives you a hook where you can attach stuff to it. So now the question is okay, what kind of a stuff can we attach? Well, if you're trying to create the or recreate the previous example, we need to create a box. So let's go ahead and create a box. When you are creating a box, you can use or create your virtual objects by using model entity. Now, once again, you can see that in order to create a model entity, you can pass in the mesh, the materials and all that stuff. Let's go ahead and talk about mesh first. What exactly is a mesh? So mesh is kind of like the skeleton, the wireframe of the box or whatever that you're going to be creating. So if I go ahead and say mesh resource or generate box, it's going to give us the wireframe of that. A wireframe simply means just the skeleton of the box. And the material is the clothing of the box, meaning material is going to cover the box, making it nice. So if you're thinking about a uh, human, right, like for, for you and for, for everyone, all the humans in the world, what will be their mesh? What will be their wireframe? Their skeleton, the bones, that will be their mesh. What will be the material? Well, the material is the thing that covered us, like our flesh. That is the thing that is covering us. So now we need to create the material. So I'm going to go ahead and create a material. Simple material. You can see that I can create a material by passing in color and uh, is metallic and roughness and metallic. I'm just going to go ahead and say blue and it's going to be, it's metallic is going to be true. I do want a little bit of a reflection. Now going back to our generate box function, you can see that the size that we have provided is 0 0.3. Now you might be saying, oh, isn't that too small? Well, the size is actually in meters. So 0 0.3 meter is actually pretty, pretty decent size. And now we can pass in the material. Here we go. Now we have the hook, meaning we have the anchor, and we're going to go ahead and attach to that particular anchor the our entity which is a box this anchor is not yet added to our ar view so finally we're going to go ahead and add the anchor or append the anchor to our ar view and once the anchor is added to the ar view and everything that is hanging from that anchor or attached to that anchor will also be visible and there you have it that's pretty much it now let's go ahead and run our application and see that what it will create. All right, I'm going to pick up my phone and I'm going to look at the floor or the carpet. And as soon as it finds the plane, there we go. It has added a nice reflective blue box. And I can see this box from different angles. 
you can see nice reflection going on so there you have it we have created our first augmented reality application using reality kit thank you so much for watching if you like this video and want to support my channel then the best way would be to check out my courses on udemy i have a lot of different courses which are targeting or targeted for ios developers including introduction to server driven ui in ios combined framework programming Mac OS application using Swift UI, MVVM design pattern, cookbook course, uh, mastering RX Swift, testament development, and a lot more. Thank you so much for your continuous support and check out the links in the description.